Laws of attraction, let's work for Louis Vuitton. Unbelievable, this box right here. I got two words for you. What they call me, promise that you never be lonely. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we have a rare opportunity to see inside of a unit we didn't get to buy because somebody else had bigger cojones than us and bought it. This is a gem. I actually think this is a treat we get to see this. I think it was $2,600. Alex even bid too. He bid, outbid me and then this gentleman outbid him. Okay. Has a lot of intrigue to it. A lot of intrigue. What's that bike worth? Like 40 to 60 bucks. That's it? I bet you get at least 40 or 60 just for the, the license plate on that. I'm sure this is what got everybody's attention right here. All you gotta do is find a couple of those in here and you're. I didn't see Louis Vuitton. Looks like she had nice shoes though. Like uh, $400, $600. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Maytag? That's nice right there. You bring a knife to work? Oh, All right. Prepared. I lose one in every video. It's kind of my thing. I bring one to work and then everybody gets to tell me what box I left it in. <laughs> That's quite funny. Where is the... We don't take a personal, like I always say. Those are nice. Those are uh, the kind that go in the black light, right? It should be. You put that in a black light, it'll glow, it'll glow bright oh, green. Like the yeah, that's what that kind is, I believe. Yeah, it might be actually, it might be right. Yeah, that makes it's like 15, 20 bucks for that bad boy. Yeah. Is that Fenton? Uh, almost like it's Or they call that nippled uh, or uh, hobnailed? Yeah, sure, I think you're right. I'm not supposed to be telling you that I know all these things. Because <laughs> you always like to bid on the same units to me, I can't be uh, telling you all my secrets. Flash you know it anyway. You've been doing this far too long. Far much longer than I have. Well, we got a lot of potential eBay items. But you would put this in your auction, wouldn't you? Yeah, this is auction stuff. Put some milk bottles. You got some special dairy guys who like this stuff. Can people bid on your auctions online or is it only in person? Uh, it's online and person at the same time. How would they find that? Uh, McGrathAuctions.com. McGrath Auctions. I'll put a link right here, guys. You guys can check out his auction for stuff he finds in a storage unit. Well, thank you. Anytime. I'm a very fair man. Even though we're like uh, neck and neck at the <laughs> auctions every day. Uh, Christmas. You're probably my worst competition in all the business. But I'm a fair man. I like to see everybody succeed. That's what this business is all about, the storage business. Opportunity. It's not for the faint of heart. No, I, I emphasize that a lot in my videos because a lot of videos where people make it look like every unit is uh, just instant profit, 10,000 here. And I try to emphasize the work more in my videos and let people understand the time that's involved and the loss, the loss that's taken. My personal biggest loss is 5,600. What's yours? Uh, 6,800. You got me beat there too. You were at the, remember when I bought those Dosha wind injectors and you already knew the month before that they tried to sell them <laughs> no. and I didn't know that? And I was like, hey, JW, yeah. let's team up on those. Uh, no. And you just laughed and I bought them. I lost 5,600 bucks. That was rich. Yeah. Yeah, that we was sold $108 in those things. Yeah. I bought these devices called Nag Tags and I lost. Those are neat right money. there. You got a lot of neat, like, old collectible glass stuff. Yeah, that's kind of Carnival style? Stuff so for kind of basic collectibles, but I see something cool in there. Well, it's like candlestick. Doesn't, when the quality is there and the intent, there's a lot to be, I found some of those the other day somewhere there. There's a lot to be said there with the intent, because it only takes one cool item to make up that type of money. I feel there's something in here, I really do. The flea market is, you know, people don't know what they're bringing to the flea market. I have a friend who bought, well, not really a friend, he's a nice guy, but he's my competition when I'm picking. He bought like a, a little Marklin boat or something at the flea oh, market yeah. for like 200 bucks and sold it for, or it didn't sell it, he kept it for his collection. It was like 50 grand. Yeah. You never know what someone's gonna take out. Marklin? Marklin's yeah. really good during the country. It was one of the big ships that like, they top out two, 300 grand. They're wow. very rare. Somebody brought it out. Got it for like 200 or something ridiculously cheap, and uh, it happens. It's very rare. 
I didn't need some new ones. Some jewelry, maybe. No, razor set. No razor. There was a little razor, razor set razor. there. A little lot of collectible. I think she was going to go out to the flea market and probably get, like, I don't know the right word to use, taken advantage of by all the people out there shopping. This seemed like cool collectibles. Yeah, yeah. What's that, 20, 30 easily? Could be Maybe more? Good shape, original. Yeah, that's cool. Looks like the rest of the scale. No, I'll keep on. They had they had that old antiqueish flavor, handmade oh, copper. Bike one more time. This thing is nice. I think this is what lured everybody into buying or wanting to bid. It's a Schwinn. That right there makes it. It's a Schwinn. It says right there on the tag. I think this is worth a lot more than you think it is. When I saw it, like in my head, because I'm I'm just speculating, you have to be able to make prices, like I always say, on the spot without looking up Google and stuff. But I was in my head thinking that was like five to eight hundred bucks for some reason. I don't know why. Especially if you find Heath and it was his bike, he'd probably pay a lot more money for it. You know, one of my favorite movies I've ever, Wizard of Oz. A lot of good, a lot of good insight to life came out of that movie. Big Adventure, but there was a unit yesterday that had a Pee Wee's Big Adventure bike in it. I like uh, The Wizard of Oz, one of the best tales ever. You know what it probably was? This is my speculation of looking at this unit, right? The woman potentially passed away, and then the daughter just, I uh, presume it was a daughter. Yeah. Had to move everything, because the house had to be empty, and they, got, and they just got it ready to sell. See, look, look at that. I think she was moving to a trailer. Maybe. That's Cutco? I wish it looks like, uh, oh, they look nice. This could be a uh, silver. Uh, it's... This is the type of unit you find a silver set in, don't you think? Yeah, Wallace, nice. that's that's still a good stainless steel set. I bet that's 30 or 40 on eBay. Yeah. I've been doing a lot more eBay. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> that's the Louis box there. <laughs> that's the Louis box. Oh, these are neat too. Look at it. It's... Accumulatively, that's Cutco right there. See how the laws of attraction work, JW? I just oh, manifested yeah. that for you. Yeah, you did. Guys, I tell you laws of attraction Cutco. all the time. I have a very similar knife. This one's about 150 in the store. 150, 100, something like that on their website. Look at This was Mark Fleetmark. That's what I'm telling you. She didn't know what she was doing. Yeah. She's like, I got to sell my mom's stuff and hurry up and get money. Because that's what most people do when somebody passes. I get yelled at a lot because a lot of people are like, oh, you guys just go through everybody's stuff and you're stealing people's souls and stuff. And they don't realize most people don't want the person who uh, passed away. It's stuff. It's the cold truth of these, of these uh, storage units. That's a good box. Let's see what's in the first box. Laws of attraction. Let's work for Louis Vuitton. Something similar. Michael Kors. Oh, man. A little better. Wow. What's that? That is the most exciting box we have opened in. I was just talking that with uh, Jess the other day. She's like, you haven't found nothing good in like two years. I'm like, no, you're right. I haven't. <laughs> Had some a couple months ago in a like a $450 yeah, unit. You know. And there was a fair amount of, there was a fake Chanel, but all Louis was real. Oh, really? Wow. I went to oh, Alameda, I swear, I, I was Alameda Flea Market tomorrow. There's a uh, woman there who loves to buy a lot, but she spent like two grand on like five purses then. And a scarf, yeah. That's quite a Alameda Antique Fair. They were a special edition. They were made of jean and they were small. Thank you. Um, Christmas. It's okay. <laughs> Some don't believe me when I say I'm more than often than not I do this because of the fun of it and not really per se the money but that feeling you get when you find something nice and your energy escalates super high is that not one of the biggest rushes ever yeah. it's like better it's, it's better than like it's I don't know I love that feeling it, by the end of the day you're drained from moving a store you're not even the physical work it's the emotional energy you put into the excitement the up the up and down
Nine West. That's cheap shoes. But you would think she might have Louis. That ain't purchased in one spot. No, this woman had money. You could look at this woman's life and you could see that her 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 life was not uh, one of misfortune financially. I, you could just tell she had, she lived in a nice, comfortable home. She had decorations for days. Her thing was obviously Louis purses. She dabbled in Michael Kors because sometimes she couldn't buy them two thousand dollar purses. She needed an eight hundred dollar purse. I try to figure out the life. I try to picture. I try to picture this person sitting home eating dinner, what they was doing on a Sunday night. A nice piece of dress. That's what I think of when I see a storage unit. My gut said something about this unit. It sounds empty. I think you still have an intentional find stuff. I don't know why. If you find a silver set, I'm throwing up. I bet on one that had a cool looking piece of art at Mount Diablo the other day against disease. It was like nothing, a five by five, had almost nothing in it, a cool radio and a speaker, a couple boxes, and I just wanted to see the art, but I let him have it at 800. I couldn't go in any higher. Complete gamble that I can't afford to lose right now, but I got so sucked into seeing what the antique art was. Oh, Very risky. Yeah. You're right, give me a hit. Yeah. That is nice. That looks actually really old. Not just like like Pier 1 Imports old. Yeah, it's old. The way it's pitting, this looks like... No, this thing is actually... Uh... I have a feeling this is worth some money, actually. There's some dolls. You should really have that looked at. Take care of that. Like, the way that this is molded together, the pounding, the weird pitting in the side of it, that's something you need to take care of. It looks like... I don't know if Ming Dynasty type stuff has that. Person, the type of person has something that they wouldn't even know about. Ooh, they were in NA. Yeah. Hey, And ladies and gentlemen, the story has been told. Every fairy tale starts with a tragedy. That was a tragedy right there. In this storage unit. This was fun. I'm glad I got to do this. I love the excitement. I haven't had nothing exciting in forever. Like more glass. I'm trying to get everybody on YouTube to help me manifest something that has 400 gold coins in it. And that's what we're all putting our energy towards. Just a bag or an envelope. Somebody had no idea what they were... Uh, Sitting on, see, that's garage sale. Oh, that's a cool spittoon. Is it metal or glass? Ceramic? Oh, like ceramic. That's a pretty Does that nice have a name? I uh, no. It does have something there, Hall. Oh, it does. It's great. Good Hall's a good name. Hole is better, right? Hall is okay. Uh, let's go. No, that's just in the powder. No, that's the uh, where the break off point is when they spin them. Spin them? Yeah, because that's hand spun. So when it comes off, that's where it would break off from the piece. Once again, I'm telling you too many of my secrets. I'm not really oh, smart, yeah. JW. All the secrets. I'm just a dumb hippie like Shaggy. It's a horsey blanket. It's like a Pendleton, I think. It looks a Pendleton poncho would be nice. The only one was made tags the same. I, I think you usually got five, six hundred out of this. Maybe four. Yeah, that one looks newer than Oh, yeah. Is this where all the Chanel purses are? You got the knife over there. <laughs> the left drawer looks slightly like some... Did you look in that left one? Is that why it's open? Which one? See? See how somebody might have been in there at one point? Yeah, I ripped it. I think there might have been something in it, actually. I pay attention to the weirdest things. No, that makes sense. Let's take this big piece of furniture, guys. Okay. The little side, guys. Uh, Only no, when you have, always. when you're doing more than one thing. Yeah, we got, if we got a bunch of stuff going on, we bring it through because it's. Yeah, it's efficient because time is money. This is so fun. Oh my god, it's gonna be hard to top off the excitement we already got. Yeah, 
Uh, probably the best thing for So far, we still have a lot of hope. As much as it kills me, we still have a lot of hope. Ooh. At the jewelry box. This personal. Are you usually really, really thorough when you go through stuff? Or do you get times where you just kind of don't care? Uh, there's definitely times. Alex found some couple bucks in a book the other day. A few books. He don't usually look in books, and he's like, I'm going through every book. <laughs> it's so hard. I never even thought about it. I saw it. The first time I saw somebody do was Aziz, because Aziz lets me film his units sometimes. And he actually goes through every book. I'm like, wow, I never thought of that. Ooh. Flea market. What is wrong with people? That's a good basket. Possibly Native American. That's what I was thinking was in there. It was like I felt Native American in that box. Nice What's the bottom hole look like? Yeah. I think it's just That's, kind of Native Americans usually start off with a it goes in like a spiral. Yeah, that that looks pretty possible though. Yeah, it's more modern though, just by the big color beads. That's you won't take the time to have it looked at? Well, probably not. It's pretty much just so. uh, the way the hole is, because I know there's something about the hole that looks very significant for And I wish this lady would show up with the flea market. It's gonna make things easier. You could just cherry pick all our good stuff. Yeah, it's so. Wow. All right, let's just. There's the lid for it. Ooh. Are they? Uh, Ooh, perfumes. You said something about perfumes, didn't you? Um, I think. You said you wanted perfumes. Oh, nothing. It's Christmas. Oh. It looks like. Christmas. I just remember you asked the universe for uh, perfumes when I talked to you on the phone, hoping for some nice perfumes. That would make it all worthwhile, I think, for your words. I have a tendency to remember everything. Well, that's ornaments. That's good. Nice that's, ornaments, too. Vintage yeah. ones. You ever yeah. do those on eBay? Um, we actually auction they do pretty good. Okay. I, you know, I'm trying to ship certain things. Well, I ship two anyhow, but it's... A lot of people in house buy them. You don't have to ship them. I recently learned that like the old ones that are kind of like, I don't know if it's not called uranium, but they have another weird little mineral or. Oh, the mercury glass. Yeah, those ones are expensive on eBay. Yeah. Wow. Nice little... Right before I was born and slash the, my being born era, maybe eighties too. I'm oh, sorry. That's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Muy pesado. Ooh, Hummel's a good name. Got a COA, don't want to lose oh, that. That's cool. Oh, the Hummel and the Dan Bray Mint's a collab. Wow. I love collabs. That's pretty good. Look at that. Like that's eBay. There. I could probably wow. bet that that's at least 50 to 100 without even looking it up. This is exciting. I think I start buying more expensive units again. That's it. Oh, uh, more of that uh, black light. Uh, 15 bucks for that. Uh -huh eBay, maybe 20. Ooh. If you have a whole box of that, some of those can get up and it's really pricey. I have it one when I one day when I build my own home, I'm gonna have those in the wall in the living room, the cool ones, like weird vases like that, and get black lights in each one. So I like the way they glow in a good black light. I have my future house planned out already. Uh, that's a lid. Yeah, but see that's like ten bucks a piece minimum. Minimum. Yeah. Every cup, every you take a picture of it on eBay of the black light, easy sell because they, they have a good pop. Not often you find a bunch like that, at least I don't. Ooh, the DVD collection. There's one of these in every storage unit. What do you do with them? Flea market them? Yeah. Are there boxes? They didn't sell. That's what looks like one there. Cool to can't do crystal. Yeah. Be nice with Lily, huh? Ooh, look, that looks either. Ooh, it looks, it looks something. It's got a tag. Uh, it's kind of. Looks Native American though. Nah, uh, it looks kind of. I, I have that looked at. I would not. 
underestimate this lady's. Because I've said I said I felt some Native American here. I did. It, 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 it is Native American style. I would have that looked at. I feel like that's a couple hundred bucks. This one, let's see. Here's the top here. You'd be surprised. I don't have to light nothing, you know. It always looks nice, and you think you got something, and then you're like, give me two bucks. Yeah. Yeah, how about a dollar? Yeah, the colonial wear and stuff does not sell that well. You have a lot of fun going through this more a little individually, getting to the bottom of each of these. You have a lot of fun with that. You're not going to take it right to the market, right? Oh, no, no. We're gonna, we'll go through it. It is. It's a strawberry. Hand blown looking. I think you'll be alright. Yeah, you're gonna take the purse and walk away if I think you're alright. Yeah, I really think the purse is real. I think you're unsure if they're real, huh? So you don't want to get too excited. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to get excited until it's like okay. I would bet you that every one of those are real. If possibly at tops, maybe one will be fake. I don't think they are. Uh, but I don't want you to get all excited and uh, get mad if they're not. But I'm I'm pretty confident because uh, my ex Mel, she was very thorough on researching purses, so she taught me a lot. She was good at studying, yeah. and she introduced herself to a lot of people that knew a lot about purses, and we learned a lot about them. And I'm pretty confident that those are real. She just took really good care of them, and it's like family dog. Dog. Found a dog in a storage unit. <laughs> you found a lot of cremated remains lately? Uh, not lately, thank God. Do you have a problem with the manager not letting you give them back and telling you to throw them away? Um, no, you can always throw them. I think you can drop them off at the sheriff's station too. Around here they're full. But, uh, oh, the sheriff's department? The sheriff's and the crematories. Have you talked to the sheriff's department much? Yeah. That's pretty neat. It looks yeah, like Fenton. Like um, no, I think it's like a Pyrex or something. Oh, that's even. Pyrex is hot. I have like 16 of them in, in my uh, storage unit because I don't know what to do with them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I've turned into my collection of people's souls I don't know what to do with. Oh, oh you're talking about the, the cremator remains. I, I do. I have one manager try to throw away six of them. It's like, no, just throw them away. I'm like, oh, no. I have one customer that actually he'll track it with family. Is that a safe? I don't know what's in there. I think of everything as a safe. That's the attitude I go towards of everything. Everything's a safe? Yeah, that's like a fairy tale to me. Ooh, a trunk. Oh, okay. Oh, let's see It's missing two legs on the top. Okay. Um, it's, a yeah. it's like a coffee table. Yeah, huh? good. Uh, see folks. When's your next auction? Uh, it's gonna be the thirteenth coming up here. Okay, coming up here. Will any of this stuff be in there by that time? Or no, you, you uh, get, yeah, most of this will probably be in the auction. Actually. You're able to get stuff in that fast? Yeah, we can process it. We sell it in the lots. I didn't know if you like to have like two weeks publicity on stuff. Uh, not really, because we put it on uh, New Balance. Ooh. Look at that wood little box there. Uh, oh, the book of magical protection. You're safe wow. now. You don't have protection. <laughs> you, this unit is priceless. What's in that wood box right there? Nothing. Oh. Things like that get my heart going. This one. These look handy. Is that military or is that a woman? Right there under your left foot. That's weird. I do a better track of my knife when I you have it than I ever do of mine. I lose a pair. Bear claw. 
Oh, it's like a little... This is kind of funny, isn't it? Okay, so let's toss this out. All right, this one... The Tin Man wore a hat like that from The Wizard of Oz. Well, that's, I think, the only reason a lot of us even do this job is not just for the money, like I said, but it's the fun. They say when you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. That's a true story. Okay, Christmas. Oh, Last chance romance. Okay, probably Christmas. Oh, Ooh. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's a Christmas. Some neat Christmas. Some of, on Alameda, some of these things be doing like 20 to 50, 60 bucks. Wow. You don't ever do that, Mark, do you? This box right here. Unbelievable, this box right here. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the story has been told. Wow. The Nazi thing here. Ooh. That is, that's interesting. You know who you want to show this to? Two people. Harold buys these things. My British friend in my videos. And Matthew. Matthew is a big collector of German stuff, but... Well, I'm going to have it in the next auction. I'll have it in this one here. Please. I'll tell him to go to it. Okay, J.W. McGrath Auctions? That looks legit. Or McGrath Auctions? Uh, either McGrath Auctions or J.W. McGrath. All right. Yeah, was there more things in the drawers? Oh, uh, yeah, there was about maybe a thousand bucks worth of stuff in there. No, I mean like any more, like you look in the wood or you look for other markings? Um, I didn't see anything else other than on top of here. Because uh, German stuff, the, war, the Nazi symbol would have disappeared after World War II, correct? Um, no, that was... Uh, I they think was they weren't allowed to use it once. No, it was Japan. Well, because that, that looks legit. That is definitely the Nazi. Because you see the war, the warbird? That's German. That's not Japan's good luck charm. That's German. But I'm wondering if this seems like kind of newer. But this looks old. This looks like... Yeah. I guess this is safe, so it'll be perfect, huh? It's airtight in there. This This is pretty nice. This is nice. I, I'm gonna tell them both about that. Do they have a combo to it or anything? Oh yeah, I got the combo. Oh, wow. wow what did you get that come out of? Uh, I I've had it for like two years and I played correctly. I wanted to try a little something different this time. See if we can keep the excitement and suspense high. That was a great score. We're about to see it. Well worth the wait. I wanted y'all to watch the rest of the unit because that unit was intriguing all the way through. So. Hope y'all didn't get too mad. Anyway, we're about to let the tape roll and you're about to see this mega Louis Vuitton hoard this man got in his storage unit. Rebecca Minkoff, I've never heard of that. Oh, that that's a Louis bag right there. Uh, I don't know. Really good shape. Oh, I would eBay that. Rebecca Minkor. Not sure if I recognize that one. The beauty of somebody out there. Oh, nice. Oh, you, there comes the Louie. Oh, he's going to get Louie. I know it. Right. Oh, <laughs> oh there, we go. God. <laughs> there we go. No that's way. That's a little better. Come on. Oh. Do something cool. Don't be no knockoff. <laughs> uh, I just don't know. Damn it. That's real. Oh, that, this looks pretty real. Look at the stitching. Let's take a look at the inside here. Look at the lock. No, I, that is a... <laughs> That's you real, okay, Danny. You think so? I know so. It has yeah, to be. She has a nice feel. To no, that's that's real. It's it's the way Louis is. That's look at the stitching. On um, it's important is right here. That's, that looks. I haven't seen a knockoff that good where it has the lock that quality. Does it have a serial number on it? Yeah, that looks pretty yeah, dang real. There, it looks brand new. Like somebody went to Vegas and they went right to Louis store. I would wrap, make sure you wrap those up oh, nicely. Shit. This, this box right here pays for your crazy gamble on this. Yeah. Nothing venture, nothing game. Look, wow. when you go to Vegas, they want like for this piece right here and this in Vegas at the Louis store when you go through the thing, it's like yeah. 600 bucks for just this. It's stupid. Wow. Those awesome. bags look really pretty. Yeah, they actually feel nice. Them. I found a lot of knockoffs and I found some real ones. I got a nice purse hoard a couple like about six, eight months ago in a lucky four hundred and fifty dollar unit. Ooh. You know who knows how to uh, authenticate these? Oh, that feels nice. Your friend who does eBay, her daughter. Oh yeah. She's her daughter's the one I always show everything to. She's uh, she's honest at least. She might not try to you know she. Might... <laughs> That, oh, 
I've never seen a knockoff look this nice. Look at how it says Louis Vuitton on the thing right here. You see how there's no break in the metal? Wow. It's like they're brand new, just never used. Wow, this is pretty good by unit. Hopefully your wife doesn't like Louis. Uh, I don't think she does. She's gonna wanna keep a couple of them. Wow. Uh, Michael, is Kors. Michael, Michael Kors. Michael Kors is really hot right now though. That is probably a hundred plus on eBay. I'm almost, I'm almost. This, is real. <laughs> this is not fake. Look at that. I can tell you right there. See that leather? See that right there? That is, that's real. Yeah, look at it. slightly distressing. The leather that's like this is supposed to distress and wear like that. This is just really good. <laughs> look at that leather. That's real. I can tell you that's real. My God. Nice that is really, it. really nice right there. Wow. Wow. You know what that's going to cost in the store? Probably a bunch. Sure a minimum 2000 bucks. Wow. That that one pur purse right there in the store. It's kind of weird to be in this unit, actually. Hmm? Huh? It's kind of weird to be in this unit, you can see. That's real. Oh yeah, this, strap does feel this is real. Right, so I'm telling you, I, I've st I've been studying these things because I find them a lot. Oh, sure. well, thank you. Wow, I, I just laws of attraction are so hot right now. Universe, I'm gonna ask for my wife now since I'm on a, a roll of <laughs> manifesting in a couple boxes in a row. Bring me. Hey, W, you lucky. This has got to be fake, though. Alex is going to be sad when he watches this video. <laughs> He's going to probably not sleep oh, that night. Alex, I did, if I was with you, I'd hug you when you're watching this video. I wanted to go much higher, but I, my number, I didn't have any money that day. I, I went every dollar I could. It was a computer gamble, though. Well, yeah, that's a nice feel, though. It does feel like well, oh, this is This is so genuinely real. I, can, I don't even have to look at it. I've seen so many fakes. This, everything is there. The stitching is perfect. The, the way it's, mm -mm, this is real. I'm telling you, see that? That's the way fake leather doesn't rip that way when it's used. It's just fraying, which is very possible. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is real stuff. I've seen a lot of knockoffs, but maybe let's say hypothetically you had one or two knockoffs in here. You I don't know. Look at that. The way the leather is, that's not fake. It's a nice double. You know who would uh, potentially buy all these like this? If, if you were looking for a seller like that, yeah. is that Matthew guy. Wow, well, that is one awesome box there. Whew. That's one of the best boxes I've seen in a while. We have not seen any of that in my videos lately. Wow. If those are all real, that's like a $5,000 box. Easily, that's a, on eBay. I don't know if you'd auction them, but you eBay those or Poshmark is really good because Poshmark has the force authentication. That's why people use it for that. Um, they, ha they have to solidify. So you send it to them and they authenticate it. Then they send it to the buyer. There's no discrepancies. Really? But that's where you get really good money for those. I think I've heard of them actually. That's pretty good. I'm going to put this outside. Alex uses it. That's why I heard about it. And then it's pretty popular on YouTube. That's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business.